I think we can start now. What yeah. Okay. So, hello and good afternoon. Uh, uh, I'm totally excited uh, to have with me today. Uh, I'm excited actually for three things. First of all, to have with me today Pega Gold, the author, international author of uh, the formula, the number one bestseller in Amazon. Second thing, uh, today uh, I'm so excited to be launching uh, the cultural forum, my uh, my happiness club for all individuals who are keen uh, to uh, to make uh, about uh, who are keen to learn about any uh, new topics that uh, can contribute to their own self development. And third thing I'm excited about it is that it's my birthday today, so I will celebrate it with big happy birthday. birthday. Thank you. <laughs> So, uh, I will let you introduce yourself, uh, Pega. <laughs> sure. Thank you very much, Hoda. I'm super excited also to be the first one who joining your club and uh, we started here together. So, uh, very happy, happy, happy birthday to you and uh, um, I hope that you'll be for sure healthy until the end of this year. <laughs> um, thank you so much for having me on board. I just would like to introduce myself to the audience. So, uh, my name is Pega Gol, and I'm the, as Hoda mentioned, I'm the author of the book called The Formula, um, the Amazon best selling author, um, Amazon number one best selling author. And um, also, um, I just wanted to, uh, and also, I'm a career coach and recruitment expert. Um, I have more than a decade experience in, uh, in UAE for helping thousands of job seekers to find the best job opportunities for themselves and landing their dream job. That's great. Um, let me start with, uh, for those of you who know me, uh, since maybe I was 18, I was always keen uh, about uh, growth. And uh, I, I al always believe that there is a space to learn and there is a space to grow. So, uh, as an as a recruitment expert, how do you see the the era now of social distancing? Is it a challenge? Is it a challenge or is it an opportunity? Is there an opportunity in the situation? I mean, the traditional way of looking and uh, finding jobs or job hunting is now kind of obsolete because we cannot do it. We cannot go on networking. We cannot meet people. Uh, what do you think? Is it an opportunity or is it a challenge that we are now faced with and we have to use online even for job hunting? I, yeah, I, I mean, think you are, you, are a, you are an advocate of the LinkedIn, which is a terrific tool uh, in business and of course in job hunting. So uh, what's your opinion about that? Sure, actually this is a very good question and it's a concern for many um, of people on my network, especially on LinkedIn, they start asking this question. So it's a very good topic to talk about right now. And um, yes, uh, it's the challenging situation for all of us. I think none of us has experienced this one before in our in our life. Uh, however, I believe that in any uh, challenging situation, there's a uh, lot uh, there are lots of opportunities within. So. Um, we need to look at it, how we can adapt ourselves, how we can use this opportunity to be um, proactive in our job search. Uh, for example, yes, so many people, they think that, okay, this is not the best time to start their job hunt. Maybe they should wait. Maybe they should see if things going back to normal. For sure, things not going back to the normal that we had because right now most of us we are exposed to lots of different uh, things and uh, maybe me and you we wanted to do this but we didn't want to do it maybe on live uh, uh, on the, uh, Instagram but now because of this we, we learn how to do it and it's quite easy so we may continue doing that um, and so many other things so while many people they they pose and they are not active on uh, the LinkedIn and they're not active with their job search this time that you win the race and you be more proactive and you start to expand your network. And as you mentioned, uh, obviously we cannot do it through the, the um, physical distancing, but I'm not, happy, I'm not really agree with the social distancing because socially we are still in touch. And to be honest, I'm more social than before because now we can do lots of online sessions. So I'm, I'm more in touch with my family 
members, you know. So um, that's why uh, I can um, consider this that um, uh, it's not a, it's not a social distancing. We need to be more social. We need to use technology uh, to help us. And uh, obviously, LinkedIn is by far is the best uh, formal um, social media that we can corporate social media that we can use for our job hunts. So you feel that we are now uh, connected maybe more than ever? Uh, I mean, not maybe more than ever. We are connected in a different way. And um, um, for myself, at least personally, I'm more, much more connected with the uh, people that I wasn't connected as such because it's easier now. Before, maybe we, we needed to uh, find the timing and uh, we need to get ready. We need to like stop in the traffic. We need to reach to somewhere. And it was quite like a challenging. And sometimes we weren't in touch with uh, people that they are distanced from us. But we are not socially distanced anymore. We are socially much more connected. We are just physically uh, distances, you know, so. Yes, many people said that they are, they feel they are more connected uh, now than ever, and maybe uh, you you feel it in the marketplace. Maybe if you are always using the LinkedIn, maybe you feel you are more connected to the marketplace. You know uh, uh, what what are the jobs available, the the job hunters, and uh, the market in general. Um, do you consider the the fresh graduates uh, are more of your uh, I mean, you, you help uh, and give advice to the fresh graduate, the middle manager, maybe who are seeking to change their career or to grow or to get promoted in their work. Uh, or there's another sector like the housewife who have been sitting at home for years and years, maybe 10 years, and who are, are starting to, to, uh, to seek if there is an opportunity for, for them in the marketplace, in the market and in the business course of today, and if they can do it uh, online. Yeah, sure. Uh, I mean, um, I'm, as a job coach and career coach, I have two different segments. Job coaching is just helping people to understand the whole job processing and career and uh, uh, to land their um, the, the next job opportunities or their dream job. But another one is the um, career coaching, which for people that they are maybe unsure about what the, what path they want to choose, or maybe uh, they're already there and they're already in the mid-management uh, level, but they are not really enjoying, they're not really satisfied. You need to bear in mind that so many of us, we choose <laughs> the subjects in the university that we really didn't like, but our parents, they like it, you know? So, uh, and uh, obviously, uh, through that, uh, through that, uh, our education, we choose a job which was relevant to that. But maybe we don't really enjoy it. So, um, especially in mid management level, I, I help many, um, many people, many professionals to change their um, their career path. Um, and also, um, as you mentioned, I find out so many, um, uh, so many, especially housewives. Um, uh, that they they already um, like start to have family and they want to um, you know dedicate their time to their family so they 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 stop working and they really left the uh, the professional um, work and the, the market but they want to go back to the market but it's like they have like a ten years gap and um, they think that they cannot really get a job and I understand their challenges because. I've, I, I went through the challenge with one year gap in my <laughs> professional life only. You know, I can't really um, understand that why they feel that because, um, but what I can say that um, they already worked before these 10 years and their, their experience is not really disappeared <laughs> just because they didn't work, you know. So obviously they still carry this uh, experience. They still um, have their in themselves and, um, and that's how they can uh, utilize that. And this is really the area that I like to help people because, um, as I said, um, Maybe this was one of the reasons that I, I wrote the formula because it was the struggle that I faced after a year gap in my career. So, yes. So, you believe that there is an opportun opportunity in the marketplace for everyone, even those who uh, sat at home for maybe 10 years? <laughs> Yes, I mean, it really depends. Uh, like maybe right now, many people through this uh, effect of this pandemic, they lost their job and um, 
and or they, they have a fear of losing their job but I can say that the jobs now, uh, the whole nature of so many jobs has changed. Like maybe they don't have the opportunity anymore. They are not, uh, they cannot work somewhere that they physically require them. But there are lots of other uh, opportunities in the market. So they can do some freelancing jobs. They can do something at home. And uh, they can do some part-time things. They can do something, uh, uh, some jobs that they are like, they need, um, like they, they need someone to work from home. You know, so there are still so many opportunities rising now that it wasn't a norm back then, you know. Yes. Maybe before, no one even considered that those as a job. They were like, oh, okay, it's my hobby. I'm doing it as a side or something like that. But it, this actually could be a permanent job for them and could be much more fulfilling because right now we just taste the, um, the privilege of working from home. And I think at the beginning, it was quite... a uh, uh, it was quite challenging, but right now I think it would be quite difficult to go back to office and work always, you know. So I think it's going to be the norm that the uh, organization they have flexi work, you know, work from home and office, you know. So it depends on the nature of the job. But I'm sure there are plenty of jobs are coming right now in the market, and I've seen them that like they don't require you to be there. So if you be uh, on the market, if you be um, um, online, if you be more showing yourself and doing networking, uh, I'm sure you come across these opportunities, you know. Yes. So uh, it will be maybe more flexible, even uh, even the work, it will be more flexible maybe from home. Maybe now that, that we've seen working uh, from home is becoming very, very easy and uh, all the infrastructure has been already set during this period or this era uh, of the pandemic. Uh, yeah. Vega, I've known you uh, now for uh, since 2018. Yes. Almost uh, three years. And uh, we have started our journey of authoring together. Uh, yes. I know that you always have a kind of signature. You have your own signature or a trademark. Uh, what is it and uh, what do you advise uh, drum hunters uh, in this line to have kind of trademark uh, for themselves when they do interview, when they present themselves, when they write a CV? Yes, of course. So I'm going to uh, refer to the chapter of my book, which is the, the your memorable trademark or signature. And there is a quote I mentioned at the top of that. At the end of the day, people won't remember what you said or did. And they will remember how you made them feel. And this is from uh, Maya Angelou. So um, this, this quote really got me like a long time ago. And uh, I really felt that what, uh, what could be something uh, that I can make um, myself memorable and um, this story is going back to my maybe childhood and uh, like I, I I I don't know I'm an extra I'm, I'm an introvert by nature so when I'm born, I was I quite left shocked that. <laughs> yeah I, I know that <laughs> I don't think anyone will even notice that <laughs> but I was Not quite cool. shy yeah and um uh, I really had problem, had problem uh, of communication with people. I, I had zero friends, zero friends, and um, uh, I remember during the uni years, one of uh, one of my uh, the only friends that I've got in university because it took me to university also that I was quite a you know like people that we call nerd that they're like just they just read write and they just like go to. Uh -huh. uh, school and come back home no communication no <laughs> so <laughs> and then in uni um she got into problem and then she asked me uh, if um if i can do a lecture for her and uh, it was uh, in front of a uh, few people in the university and i was like um i i i, I uh, <laughs> but she was really in a First difficult time. situation so i thought that you know like the only friend that i got that's the only thing that i can do you know so I started to do lots of uh, practice to understand. Little I know that this incident actually changed my whole life, you know. So um, I, I started to do my speech and um, because I was super nervous, I, um, I started to laugh <laughs> without even like uh, having the a reason behind it. <laughs> it was a nervous <laughs> laugh and then uh, everyone else will start to laugh with me. and. Uh, um, 
like I continue and then in between I was like still laughing and just having this kind of uh, smile and uh, but it was a very nervous moment for me obviously I don't know how did I do uh, there I really don't know like the how was the performance um, because I couldn't even remember what I was saying but uh, what I can say that when when this um, this speech finished on behalf of my friend um, everyone came to me and everyone was like wow that was uh, that was fantastic you really like your laugh you really like your laughter and your smile and uh, it, it's just um, making a huge uh, difference in our mood and all. so um, and after that I started to get lots of requests for doing this, those speeches <laughs> and it become natural to me but it all happened with that one um, like a nervous laughter and my 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 laugh and smile, you know. So uh, that's become naturally my signature. Um, obviously, like having a smile on your face and having a positive attitude and having a positive presence, it's it's help a lot. I'm sure you notice so many people that when they enter in their room, you feel their presence. You feel like wow, they're uplifting, you know. So. There are many yeah. things that all of us we have in ourselves, you know. We just need to we just need to find that. We need to find our signature. And the most important thing is just not being uh, everything about me. Also, you need to notice other people. You know, when you're sitting with someone and you notice something good about them and something that you learn, just acknowledge that, you know, just compliment them. So they they feel that you notice them and we recognize them. It, it's part of the active listening and active seeing and active hearing, you know. So it's very much important that you be, because it's not a monologue, it's a dialogue situation. So you need to acknowledge people and they feel much better when they are around you when you notice something good about them as well. So um, these, these things are very kind of natural, um, soft skills, which um, obviously help a lot. And um, it's even just by observing some people that they are like so um, unforgettable, we can start to finding these, um, uh, these, um, uh, these things in ourselves and we can start to working on them. Like, my smile, my laughter is <laughs> is quite famous, you know. I'm quite, you know, that I'm quite too petite, so um, maybe I don't notice as such. Uh, but certainly, when I start to laugh, no one can not know that I'm not there. You know, everyone know, everyone look at me, and everyone noticing me. So, <laughs> so yeah, this is my signature. <laughs> and it makes a difference, especially. Um, uh, in uh, job re in job hunt re recruitment in general yes yes yeah. you know when you're entering a room uh, it takes seven seven seconds that they start to uh, get the first impression of you um, imagine that just that if you if you if you lose this seven seconds and normally it's two to three minutes that they have an idea if they really want to recruit you or not if they want to want you to be part of their team, part of the organization, if you're fitting or not, you know. So it's very important that um, you you show these things. You know, I know for some people it's, it's quite difficult that um, they come out of uh, themselves and their shyness. And obviously I have, um, uh, I have worked with many candidates that they were introvert, they had kind of difficulties to show themselves or um, they have some difficulties to built a rapport at the very beginning with the organization. So I'm, I'm, I'm also helping lots of candidates that they can like book a um, 30, uh, 20 minutes free consultation uh, on my website, pegafold.com. And they can, um, uh, we have workshops, we work on those things and they can follow me also on uh, Instagram and they can understand that what would be the, the whole um, concept of, uh, you know, so having their own signature and trademarks. Yes. So you believe uh, in uh, first impressions? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. And you can help people uh, through your website. They can ask for uh, consultation. Uh, yes. Um, I, I offer during this time. I offer twenty minutes um, a free um, free coaching consultation um, through my website. So there is a part that they can book their um, their. Uh, 
uh, their session and um, so we can we can have a conversation we can have a zoom or um, um, or even phone call doesn't matter okay. but uh, I believe that this will um, certainly um, show what what route we are going to take you know how we can help uh, further than the line uh, Vega, in your book uh, you tackled uh, a very uh, interesting idea that I or I tackled also in my book and that is uh, the idea of helping others. Yes. Uh, in my book, I tackle this concept as a way that uh, if you want to get promoted, if you want to get lifted up, just help others. So by helping others, we help ourselves. Yes. What is your, your contribution to this concept and what does it have to do with both uh, happiness and job hunt? Sure. Um <laughs> Uh, I'm glad that you mentioned this because this is um, actually this is my favorite chapter of my book. Even my book is about the um, job hunting process, but I didn't want to just share things that people can find online. Now, how to do the interview, what questions are in the interview, how to write your CV. You know, there are certain things, obviously certain generic things that they're there, which I, I felt that I need to share anyways because some people maybe they don't have access to that, but they can read the book and they can understand. And it's better to have it in the package. But what I wanted to share, it's really uh, more than that. That's why in my chapter five, um, I mentioned about be a superhero. So uh, what I call it the superhero, because uh, being a superhero means that you have to, you should have a superpower, you know? Some like Spider-Man has certain superpowers, Superman has some different superpowers, Superwoman, you know, like uh, all this, they have different kind of superpower. But as a human, our superpower is um, to just, lifting others to helping others to be there for others and i think uh, no better time than now because we can show how we can really contribute how we can really show um our contribution how we can help each other you know so um because all of us we are in the same kind of situation the level of understanding is is huge because um everyone is like feeling um maybe feeling little down because of the the lockdown situation or the the, the, the physical distancing so in in that uh, chapter um i've mentioned that um, like it, it's it's also very much related to uh the having your signature because when you become a superhero everyone knows you for your superpower to be a helpful person you know so um uh, just just being there for others you know during the job hunting process yes you may start to looking for a job for yourself and that's that's um, that's fair and square you need to do that but at the same time you can also help others if you know your colleagues looking if you if you're j checking the jobs on linkedin and you see that oh my god like this job actually is matched with my ex colleague that i know that he's out of job right now just uh, share that link very easy right now in these days it's very easy you don't need to um go personally to them or you need to call them it's just one click just share with them and show them that you are actually helping them you're actually um you know uh, there for them if you think that they are really struggling um, to write a cv um just just help them just sit with them and see okay let me see or if you see their linkedin profile and you feel that there is an area that they can improve just do that you know so um these are very small gestures that it will actually help others and it will make them also remember you and they know you for your superpower you know so within these years that i was doing recruitment um over um, almost 14 years um I help many um, individuals, many job hunters with their CVs, their uh, interview preparation, um, with their lots of different techniques, soft skills, that it wasn't part of my uh, my job responsibility. My job responsibility as a recruiter, finding candidates match with the job and then, you know, place them as a, as a successful placement. But I was doing this and this, um, I think this is this was something made me memorable and I get lots of people start to referring me to others you know so and um I don't want to call myself a superhero because all of us we are superhero we just need to have a heart for it and we need to little bit go out of our way to help others yes so we can help uh, one another even in small things in the 
in uh, in the power that we have and i uh, believe that now more than any other time people have started to to learn the power of, of the collective and if yes. we use it in the right direction uh, i think the post pandemic uh, era will be uh, a really very fruitful era will be coming all of us stronger and we will rely on the power of the we not the me as i always say that sure, uh, can you give us your top secret uh, uh, tips about uh, how to use uh, the LinkedIn uh, as a powerful uh, way to network and to uh, to do the search and the job hunting? Aside that, LinkedIn has been now uh, been a, a terrific tool in the in the business itself, in lead generation, in personal branding. But the main uh, the main power of the LinkedIn is in uh, the recruitment uh, process and in the job hunting process, and this is your area of expertise as well. So, what are the, your top uh, tips that can uh, boost uh, the profile uh, uh, of any person who would like to to put his CV and looking for a dream job? Yes, sure. Um, I mean, in my previous sessions uh, and with um, with one of our um, fellow author, actually, I mentioned a few things about the tips that they can create their um, their presence on LinkedIn. Um, but since you asked me about these secrets, um, actually, um, there are not many secrets. It's just like just being there. But I will explain how. So. Um, you all of us we know that in the especially in the job hunting uh, job hunting process networking is the key is tremendously uh, increases the chances that you can you can get a job so what would be um, what would be the, the, the way that start networking through LinkedIn obviously um, adding lots of people on your network and uh, inviting them to join to your network is, is a good uh, good strategy it's the first thing you need to do but it's not enough you know you need to be more there and you need to use this like a beer superhero um, you know like uh, and your signature there you need to show your um, more your publicity you need to be more there and start showing that you're there that people start to see you one of the like uh, uh, best tips that I can give is just to be uh, an, a, at least you know um, keep one hour maybe half an hour in the morning half an hour in the afternoon to just be on LinkedIn and start to scrolling to the feeds and checking what they that they see and they find it interesting if they find anything that someone has shared especially in their network and um, interesting you they can start to like um, show their interest and they can put the comments there by this you start to get more publicity people start to see you more and maybe if you have a value things to share this is something that i really emphasize on that some people they just click like but they don't share it. even if they are not agree with it it's okay you can start to share your opinion with the, with someone who posts something and in this way people start to look at you in a different way and they say oh my god this person has something to share has something to say and by default you start to get noticed and uh, people that they, they look for people like Monday minded like you they start to approach and um, um, also another way that they can start to do they can start to share their opinion with the uh, you know this is the second tip they start they can start to write down an articles like posting something, posting something positive maybe during these days. We all need to see a baby laughing, you know, it's not a big deal. Okay, yeah, I know that LinkedIn is a very much a professional place. I'm not saying that use it as a, uh, as a, like other social media to show, uh, to share lots of different things. But every now and then, if you're sharing a few tips, every now and then to just share. Yes, uh, I think uh, the internet, we lost connection with, with Pega, so I'll be waiting for her. Yes? Okay. Yeah, you got me? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Now <laughs> Sorry, I yeah, my connection just happened. Yeah, it yes. was poor. So, it's not, it's, not, it's not bad, you know, sometimes I see like uh, 
very senior people that they're sharing very insightful information. Some days they are just sharing something very funny and um, that's that's okay, you know. It's also helping you to contribute in like, uh, um, you know, lifting up others, you know. Maybe someone is like sitting there looking for a job, got frustrated and by watching that they start to feel a little bit better, you know. So uh, it's very important to uh, to be there and to start to um, to start to publish their things, publish their thoughts, sharing other people's another way that they can start to uh, you know increase their chance to be seen uh, is and to network and to start to be, uh, find like-minded people and to start to follow certain hashtags. You know, so if you are looking for job hunting, if you are a job seeker, if you are looking for jobs, for example, in Dubai, in UAE, in Cairo, everywhere in the world. Just use these hashtags and by default LinkedIn start to bring those hashtags up and then you can see and then you can feel oh, okay so I can um, you can see the relevant post to yourself and your research to your interest and then you can maybe share them with the others you know so by sharing those information also you're contributing you're helping others you start to uh, letting them know that they can use this information and by default you become superhero people look up to you people saying oh my god this person actually um helping a lot so if they find something good and relevant to you they will do the same so this is this is by default is the law it's the law and you know whatever you would yeah exactly you know you, you get back it's it's um it, it's it's a law of matter so that's how it works so it's uh, mainly uh, also to have a content, to have, uh, to be creative about the content maybe through yeah, the sure, LinkedIn. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the, they post certain things, they share their opinions, they, share, they can share their challenges, you know, and they can ask people to start to, you know, um, tell, um, um, suggest them some tips or something like that, you know, so, but just being there is very important for me to really yeah. be there and uh, showing their, their presence there. Okay. Uh, I would like to ask you uh, about uh, your formula for happiness. Since we are talking about the Happiness Club, uh, what is your formula? And my book for name is the formula. <laughs> the formula. So we have the two books together. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, um, to be honest, um, Hoda, when um, I, I just want to uh, share a very brief things about why I wrote this book and why I call it the formula if you may allow me because it helps me also to share this so I if you had another title before uh, before the formula you had another title yes exactly yeah. yes yeah. exactly so I'm going to share the, the story behind this book actually which Great. is uh, um, yeah um, how did I come about with writing this book and why I did call it the formula? Um, to be honest, I was, um, um, when I, when we were together and we, we met uh, with our publisher, uh, Mustafa, and uh, I was really excited and I wanted to write a book. And um, I said, you know, uh, but I didn't have a job back then. I was like half one year gap. After after almost ten years working in uh, recruitment and heading uh, um, like heading a desk in recruitment um, uh, in award winning recruitment agency, so I was like uh, I took the one year off. I I said you know I'm gonna like go around the world, do something for myself, you know, enjoy the life, and I did that. And when I met. Uh, uh, our uh, publisher uh, the, from the Passion Burner, um, Mustafa, I said, like, uh, I don't have money right now, uh, but this is not an excuse for me. He, 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 maybe he wanted to start to, you know, tell me that this is not an excuse, but I said to myself, this is not an excuse for me. I'm going to find the money and I'm going to join you. So um, this was the whole thing. And then I, I felt that, okay, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find a job easily. You know, and then I applied and I said, waiting for someone to call me. No one called me. <laughs> so I was like, wow, okay. Um, that's, uh, that's a bit difficult. I didn't expect that. And um, I was wondering what's, what's uh, going on, why I'm not able to, you know, um, to find a job and uh, how it's even possible. I didn't expect that to be that difficult. I just thought that you apply for a job and then, because your CV is 100% match, you're going to receive a call. And, 
and um, but it, it's uh, it's almost took a month and guess what i did not receive a single phone call so i said okay there is something wrong here <laughs> i was sitting with my friend and uh, she was like you know what you help lots of people almost a decade to find the right job opportunities you help them to write their cvs you help them to uh, to land their dream job how you cannot do it for yourself and i was like actually you're right how i didn't really think about this to think about it this way you know so because in general no one taught us in the university or in school how we can start to find a job the whole job process is just we think that we need to have a cv whatever and then just send it and we we're gonna some by miracle we're gonna get just get a job um that's why i really like to help fresh graduates because this is a very fundamental things for them to do because if they learn now how to do it i'm listening to you <laughs> yeah. if they do, if they know how to do it then um then for the whole their career life they know how to do it well i'm, I'm just giving them some some tips some formula that is going to help them every year like after five years after 10 years after 20 years doesn't matter this is like a formula which is working so i was thinking okay what should i do so i sat with myself and i started to write what should i do from the beginning to the end and then I, um, within, uh, with writing this and started doing it one by one, within two weeks, actually, I got two interviews and, um, no, sorry, I got five interviews and out of those, after two weeks again, I got uh, two job offers. Literally, they Thank offered <laughs> So, <laughs> the formula is working, it's a tested formula. And, yes. um, uh, and I was thinking, so what should I, uh, what should I call it? Why? what would be the best and um I, I call it the formula as i said because it's it can work every time if you know the formula this is the um, this will work for you even though there's so many of them are basic but they're fundamentals you need to have them without them without cv you cannot you cannot land your job you cannot get interview without having get very good interview um, skills you cannot um, uh, pass the interview process without having it um uh, like a different like a personality of um you know like being a superhero or you have your signature or your trademark again you cannot pass that and if you don't know how to negotiate then again you you somehow you know you're gonna stop so that's how i call it the formula and if i want to make it relevant to happiness um i'm sure that you're expert in happiness you know better than me but for myself um I really uh, don't have a proper uh, proper formula for happiness because I believe that happiness is something come from within. And the best thing to, to be happy, I think, to be grateful for many things. You know, so gratitude is uh, certainly one of the things that it's, uh, it's helped you in all the challenges, all the problems right, right now. Like, yes, we are in the, in the physical distancing. We are... Um, um, maybe we are not um, socially not active as before. Maybe we are not meeting our um, our um, friends, and it's it's a bit different, you know. But still, if we are being grateful that we have internet, we can do it differently. And uh, if we we can have this gratitude, um, it's it comes. It's something comes from the team. And if I want to say having a happiness at work it's really also relevant to really love what you're doing if if you love what you're doing then you don't feel that you're working you actually feel that you're uh, you're doing your hobby you know so um just, just being uh, have a fulfillment also if you if you're at the job that um maybe you don't love it uh, you just like it and you feel that it's fulfilling you uh, it's also it's also a sense of happiness it's, it's provide you sense of happiness so because you feel that you're fulfilled you've done something you help someone you help another person you guide someone it, and it's just the whole fulfillment coming from that and um, to be honest um one of the reasons that i wrote this book because i felt that i struggle a lot and I felt that how other people, they really can find a job and uh, they don't know really, like uh, maybe this formula can help uh, many because personally, I cannot uh, help everyone, but I can talk to them 
uh, through my book and I can I can share with them tips that it's it's it may help them and for me if it's helped one person my book actually um, served its purpose already yeah yeah so so we agree uh, both of us that it is in fulfillment and to have a meaningful life and of course to be grateful for what you have and yes. I agree with you that uh, a happiness is really loving what you do and doing what you love and this this will lead to success or the formula for success is simply to love what you do and to do what you love this will give you all the motivation all the power all the, the persistence and res resilience to face any challenges in order to reach your goals and i believe also that uh, reaching your goals and your dreams is definitely part of the happiness uh, Hypothesis, hypothesis, or uh, happiness formula, as as you said. Yes. Uh, I lastly, I would like to ask you about the training in LinkedIn. Uh, there are uh, tra training and online courses in LinkedIn, and a lot of them are related also to the job hunting process, and uh, some are related to uh, to marketing or to personal branding. Do you advise that we, we uh, for, for, um, for example, fresh graduates to take these courses online? Are they useful? Uh, and especially now, they are uh, most of them are for free uh, on the lockdown circumstances. So many, many platforms are providing free education now in, uh, in the lockdown. So you advise the use of these uh, online courses? but uh, how to which extent are they useful and yeah actually it's very good uh, that you mentioned that because um yes certainly um i can suggest that like we need to really utilize this time to do lots of things that maybe we didn't have time to do uh, maybe back then uh, there wasn't free and uh, maybe it was quite uh, far for example we need to attend it like personally it wasn't really offering online but now that we are comfortable with doing things online and uh, being more on our computer i suggest that certainly uh, there are certain free um free webinars free courses that you can do at the same time i had uh, i had a friend of mine that she was like um you know i did lots of courses and she mentioned lots of courses completely irrelevant you know so um your personal branding digital marketing and her job doesn't require you know, All this. you know what i mean so it depends on what is your expertise what you want to get skills for if you have a goal for it for example if you want to uh, do uh, digital marketing for your um, side business or something that is important for you. Yes, it's nice to learn that. But if 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 what you do doesn't require really knowing digital marketing, um, you know you need to also respect your time and uh, just uh, use it in the best way possible. So certainly, yes, there are and um, like some live sessions, like what we do right now or what I did um, in the past, and they are like they're sharing lots of good information and we can we can certainly attend that and uh, also um i'm doing some free um free web, uh, free webinars free courses and uh, also i have my uh, my youtube channel which i'm sharing some of these tips ex in, again for free so absolutely for free so um they can they can also use these things they can go to my youtube channel um it's a peg of goal as my name yeah. <laughs> my name is uh, by the way my name is very difficult very uh, yeah your trademark <laughs> yes and it's my trademark also because it's, yeah. uh, it's quite unique i call it beard for many people because they cannot pronounce my name sometimes especially on the phone it's just impossible but yeah. uh, the good thing is, if they learn it, they won't forget it. So, <laughs> yeah. knowing that I'm pick up God, I think it's make it easy for people to find me online as well. Yes. Uh, yes, I believe that uh, there is always a space to learn. There is always a space to grow. And uh, I'm a big fan of uh, growth. And growth is uh, one of my uh, main uh, personal value. Uh, I believe uh, LinkedIn is one of the platforms for self-development and uh, in this uh, in the lockdown and uh, 
current era of social distancing, I believe that we can always find uh, opportunity in the challenge. Yes. And we can grow and we can uh, really uh, contribute in our self-development. Uh, as for myself, I started my uh, Monday life during the lockdown. Uh, I started uh, some tea talks during the lockdown. I started this happiness club as an initiative also during the lockdown. So there is always a space to learn. There is always a space to grow. Uh, creativity is never locked down. Creativity is an ongoing process. And maybe this is a good time to start to look inward. We looked outward for uh, for for almost, uh, I don't know how many decades. So maybe this is the right time to start uh, to have a look inward. Uh, thank you very much, Pega, for being with me today and for being the first author in my uh, journey and in my cultural forum, uh, which is the Happiness Club. Uh, I really appreciate that. And I wish you best of luck with your book, with your coaching, with your... Um, with the recruitment uh, expertise you have in general. Uh, next week, I'll be having uh, more authors as well to talk about their books for, uh, for those of you who are interested and keen to learn uh, about uh, new topics and uh, related to self-development maybe. Um, well, uh, let us know uh, where to find your book. Uh, my book is available on Amazon.com uh, and Amazon.ae, and um, even if they, they they come to my website and they register online, and uh, they they can get the the free uh, the from first website. chapter for free. And then if they get in touch with me uh, directly, I will also um, share my um, uh, the the audio the the soft version of my book with them as well. So during this time. And um, yes, they can find my book on Amazon mostly and uh, uh, obviously through my website, pegafo.com. Um, I want to also take this opportunity to thank you. It was a pleasure and, um, and uh, obviously an honor to be the first author to be with you <laughs> and talk about my book. I'm really happy we got this uh, like a journey together. Obviously, you, you finished your book quite uh, um uh, before me but um, still. <laughs> yeah but, um, <laughs> most important things i managed to to write it and uh, to publish it yes, and, exactly. uh, and yeah it, it was a, it was a very uh, it's it's a very nice journey and i'm sure that we're gonna have more sessions together and sharing more things i would like to invite you to another sessions that maybe you can talk about your book as well because uh, uh, it's it's a very very good topic, and uh, your book obviously as being a uh, um, bestseller in Border, it's it's a huge yes. achievement as well. And I'm uh, happy that we can we can collaborate more um, about happiness and uh, yes. also uh, link it to 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 the career and the job hunting as well. Yes, happiness uh, happiness can can be linked to any topic, and it is needed now more than ever. Uh, people That's are starting. To, to really look what is the real meaning of success, what is the real meaning of happiness. Absolutely. So maybe this is the time we can make a lot of talks, further talk, inshallah, uh, yeah. later as well. Thank yeah. you very much. Uh, and for all who joined us, thank you very much. And uh, see you in another topic. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank Bye. you. And happy Bye. birthday again. Thank you. Thank you, too. Bye-bye.